and welcome to my channel and today I wanted to talk you guys through how I edit my Instagram photos and video thumbnails because I use the same photos for both, uh, what I use to take photos, how I do it, etc etc so let's get into it shall we. So the first thing I often like to do in taking photos is I have an outfit I feel confident in so today I'm having a very witchy vibe, I got like a bat choker, I got these awesome sleeves from the top I got in a chat shop witchy hat and makeup I feel confident in. Like, just dress how you want, do makeup how you want, don't do makeup how you want, whatever. First tip, done. Second off, I like to have props, so I casually have a skull. Casually. Uh, I do the Loot Alternative Market and I make headdresses and it's really handy to have something to display it on, isn't a styrofoam head. And because it's a goth market and they're kind of spooky designs, so this bad boy is from Amazon, but you can get them on eBay for a lot cheaper than this one. And you can get some that have really cool designs on them. This one is a plain skull. I do want to get some more designs. I'm actually going to ask for that for Christmas because I'm weird. You also use a ram skull or other skulls. And if you don't want to use real bones or real skulls, get resin ones. They're a lot cheaper. Or you can get ethically sourced ones. Another pop I like to have is a book. This is The Woman in White. It's a stunning book. I got this one from a free bookstore, but I have others that I've got in charity shops, given to me, accumulated somehow, but these do look really, really cool in photos. You can hold them open as if you are reading them in the frame. You can hold it at your face, this photo I'd done, um, like that, or you can put your hand on it and have an over the shoulder shot, like that. I've done a few of them at my altar and added effects. So my setup for my pictures is normally here in where I film because I use a lot of my photos for my thumbnails but I do go outside occasionally and I mostly do selfies so I take the photos of myself but not using my hands. I have a tripod, I have a couple of tripods. This is my favourite one, it is a octopus tripod so you can bend the legs and shape them around things. Attach it to the end of my bed, I can attach it to a park bench, pretty much anywhere I can attach the thing to or just tripod it up. Currently you're on my windowsill and there are 11 books supporting you. Um, you could just use a big box, or if you have a higher windowsill, you got a higher windowsill. My windowsill is really quite low. I also use a timer on my phone, go into settings, press timer. The phone doesn't have a timer setting. You can get apps that will do it for you, and I just pose. So, for example, when I was doing the photos for this thumbnail, which I'll we'll, be featuring as I edit in this, I kind of have my hand like this, and I want to kind of be casting a spell onto this skull, and I'll add the visual effects afterwards, so my hand's kind of over my face slightly, and the skull is kind of in frame, but kind of out of frame. And that's how I take photos. And I take like multiple, so I have it on timer and then it takes three. That's what my phone has. I suppose you can have the multi one, so you tap it and start taking photos from the moment you tap it. Or you can have a timer and you just have to press each time. I prefer a timer of about five seconds because I get time to get in place and do what I'm looking at. And I find it helps not to look at the camera sometimes. If you're looking at the prop, focus on the prop. Or if you're looking at the book, look at the book. Or if you're looking at the camera, look just above the camera so you don't get cross-eyed. That's what I do. I like to take it into an app called Magic Brush, I think it's called, and they have a bunch of different effects you can add. My favourite ones are Glow Smoke, and if you press it twice, it's like a, an X that's grey and an X that is red, and the red X has a, a nicer kind of glowy, smoky effect. Stars, occasionally Sparkler, very, 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 very rarely use that one and recently glow line with the red X, not the regular X. Then when that is saved, I take it into VSCO Cam or Visco Cam, which is a editing app on your phone and it is like really affordable. I've actually bought a few more filters, but the filters I'm gonna show you today are completely free. And I have mine on like preset, so you can have one that you've already made, but I'm gonna run you through how I completely from scratch edit my photos. I have two filters I like, I like HB2 and I like, is it A5? Both of them filters are free. You probably need to go into the shop and you can find a bunch of free filters that aren't already preloaded onto the app and they find them really handy. So once I have my photo how I like it, I take it into Instagram and I might just turn up the sharpness a little bit, add some blur, add some fade. I always like to turn up the sharpness because I like to have my photos kind of crisp add a funny caption, add some tags, and that's how I do my photos for Instagram. Now to edit it on my laptop for my thumbnails. I like to use Google Drawings for this, as 
it's free, it's simple, it's a lot like um, Publisher, I don't have Publisher, so Google Drawings, free, online, simple, easy, not sponsored. Um, so I like to use Google Drawings for that, and then I kind of type my text out, I'll have different texts, and quite often I'll have something else in the frame, like a cobweb, or a skull, or something that relates to the video I'm doing. So I'll go online and I will search cobweb PNG, and then that means it's the background is transparent. Quite often come across black images because it's easier. But I like to have my backgrounds kind of dark. I like to have white text and white images, so I'll go in to so I'll go customize my photo and you can change and you can recolor it and I like to put it in negative and then, then that means the colour is white and doesn't change the background because there is no background. So thank you for watching guys and I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope it was informative. I might do an update in a couple of months time or even a year time when I maybe change my style of editing or what props I use. Of course this is how I do selfies, not how I edit my outfits or anything like that. I haven't done an outfit in a while, probably need to do some more of them. But this is how I do my selfies and this can apply to my other images that you see on my Instagram. So to say it's a dark, please follow me on Instagram and my social media are linked down below as well as if you go to my YouTube channel page up in the corner, I don't know it's weird, I'm rapidly dark on literally everything so you can find me on there. I don't have Twitter, I just don't bother with it. I decide on a schedule on uploading my videos that so every Tuesday and Saturday at 8pm GMT which is British time. I'm not sure what that is elsewhere in the world but 8pm English time, Tuesdays and Saturdays regular uploads and I plan on doing kind of like a goth talk Tuesday. Like every second week of each month I'll do a talk about goth, that could be music, that could be fashion, that could be more in-depth discussions but I really want to get on top of that and do some really philosophical things and discuss problems, benefits, great things, music, new releases, all sorts in the goth world. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stay safe, stay dark and I'll see you next time. Bye!